So the stage is set for another Trump presidency in the United States. And if reports are anything to go by, then the Republican leader is wasting no time in building the ground to implement his policies, especially in the question of immigration. At an interview to NBC News, the president-elect revealed that there will be no price tag to the expense incurred for carrying out what Trump has previously called the biggest mass deportation in American history. Now, the impending policy shift under Trump's administration has many immigrant communities and leaders very worried. As the United States is waiting the policy implementation and ramification of Trump's second presidency. Several leaders and top advocates are preparing to fight back against mass deportations. Now, California's Attorney General, in his public address, has promised to provide for any and all legal assistance to the immigrants in the state. I can promise to the undocumented immigrant community in California that I and my team have been thinking about you for months and the harm that might come from a Trump administration 2.0. We have planned for you. We have prepared for you. According to the Department of Homeland Security, there are approximately 11 million undocumented immigrants into the country as of 2022. A report by the American Immigration Council estimates that Trump's deportation project can cost at least about $315 billion. But for Donald Trump, no cost, it appears, is too high so long as he can get the immigrants out from the United States. And we earlier spoke with the Voice of America correspondent, Carolyn Prasciutti, who joined us from Florida. And this is what she had to say. Well, that remains to be seen. We do have a couple more details, though, on that mass deportation. Um, apparently, we're looking at about a million people a year to be deported. Now, the question is, how do you find them? Apparently, the president-elect is going to enlist the help of diplomats, worldwide, the military here in this country and other government agencies to round up undocumented immigrants and then return them to their country. Also, one of the people who is rumored to be getting on the future cabinet list is Stephen Miller. Now, Stephen Miller was an aide to uh, President Trump uh, back in uh, 2016 during his first term as the 45th president. And Miller was the one that uh, championed the Muslim ban into the United States. So he is rumored to be assisting with that first week when President Trump gets into office on January 20th to arrange these deportations and just the logistics on how to do that. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.